I was forced out of school at 11 to stay out two years because the uh, entrance age of the Boysville High School was 13. And I was only 11. So the problem was what to do with me during the two extra years. Well, some of them said, some of the advisors said, keep him away from books and let him develop uh, physically. I said, if you do that, you might as well kill me now because I've got to have my book. So they modified the decision into saying, well, you can have them, all right. So I got hold of a book which was called The Magician's Own Book, a book telling of puzzles and tricks and all kinds of little things, chemistry experiments, electrical experiments. The electrical chapter was what struck me at once and they told how to make an electrical machine out of a wine bottle. And I immediately set to work and uh, made just such a machine and started it in operation. And I got my first view of electric sparks from that machine, my first knowledge of electricity from that machine. And I made a whole lot of apparatus which it recommended to be made, like lighting jars and uh, little things of attraction and repulsion uh, dancing figures and so on, and I had that whole equipment, uh, along with a, a stool, which was made by bottles and the, and the board for making the insulated stool in order to insulate a person that wanted to be charged. And we charged them. With, a, with a, uh, an arrangement of this kind, my father rather poo-pooed the magnitude of my efforts, and uh, I thought I, was got, I had to get even with him somehow, so I made a battery of five jars and put them into operation and asked him to take the shock. I never heard after he took that shock any more <laughs> derogation, derogatory remarks about my apparatus. I was very much interested to have you state that you uh, uh, obtained your first interest in uh, electricity from uh, reading a book. Uh, I seem to recollect that uh, this is what happened to uh, Joseph Henry, one of our greatest of our electrical pioneers, as you know. I understand that was so as a matter of history. 